What's going on guys? My name is Pwn and I came across a cool little product that I wanted to actually give a review and I know I don't do these often. I'd like to do these more to be honest. Uh, but I was looking for a cheaper alternative to something like a GoPro and I think I found a pretty reliable one. These are actually goggles, glasses if you will, and there are a couple versions of them. These are created by Coleman. Hopefully you guys recognize the logo and the brand. I've known them to be the company that you go to for outdoor stuff, camping, you know, lamps, stuff like that, the outdoorsy sort of things, and they've really stepped their game up in the modern world with glasses that you can wear. And I'll put these on real quick just so you can see exactly how dorky I look because it gets all the ladies, guys. But they're comfortable. I am going diving right now, but uh, they can be comfortable, they can be tight, you got to make sure they fit just right. Um, I've had these on for up to 30 minutes at a time, and they are not that bad, uh, to be honest, but I would expect that around the bridge of your nose, that if you were to wear these for hours and hours, they would get sore. I can't foresee why you would do that, unless you were maybe hunting and waiting for the right time, then you push the button to start recording, but for the most part... These aren't that bad. If you fiddle with them a little bit, they can be extremely comfortable. But again, that would be my only gripe is that over time, unlike wearing the helmet with a GoPro or something attached, these could get uncomfortable. But as you can see, they're beautiful. They fold up conveniently. Could even fit in your uh, pocket if you'd like to. The camera is located right here. It does record in 1080. It is called the Vision HD. And there are also ski versions of these. I may put a picture on the screen for you guys, but they're like this large. They're meant for the outdoors. They're weather resistant. These are too. Um, that's why they are created with this rubber sort of material versus like a foam for comfort is these are meant to uh, be used while you're doing outdoor things. They're called the sport safety goggles and these are meant for like if you're playing basketball. So the sweat is not going to break through any of that and you know limit your vision at all or burn your eyes or whatever it is. So these things are extremely convenient and you can find these online for about 150 bucks. Now that, that may seem like a lot for people that have never researched these before, but for you to find a GoPro, then to find a mount for it, and all the extra accessories, you're spending hundreds of dollars for a GoPro. Hundreds. You could buy two or three of these just to get the basic effects that you would out of a GoPro. And that is extremely exciting, to be honest, because the quality is pretty damn decent. I'll show you it in a minute. Um... The only thing that is a little lacking on its front is the microphone, which you can see located directly beneath it. Um... It, it is good for for the actual user and a few people in front of you, but you can see it's a little lacking. But if you have proper, you know, uh, recording software, things you, like a Sony Vegas that you can alter the, the sound in or improve it or something like that, then it would be great. But again, they are really, really nice. You have a slot underneath here that you pull down and you have your micro SD card that you can put in there and you can also recharge these. You can plug these into the wall, recharge these. I have only recharged them once and I've used them for a couple hours. So I don't know exactly how long the battery time is, but again, they're rechargeable and that's pretty convenient alone. So I'm going to set these aside. I will let you guys know that I did buy mine off of Amazon, I believe. And when I popped them off of Amazon, I, pay, I paid, I think, 160 It came with, you know, the adapter, a carrying case, cleaning tools, um... 32 gig SD card. It's it's a pretty good thing that you can get bundled with these if you do a little bit of research. I even saw them for sale on a website for 120 one time. I think they were I think it was nomorerack.com. So if you're looking for a good alternative, you maybe you want to do sports or you want to deal with hunting or anything like that, which is what I bought these for. It's pretty good. So I'm going to show you what some of the footage and actual microphone quality is directly right now. <sighs> oh my God, you're so fucking foxy. <sighs> Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know how that one got in there. Anyways, oh, baby. You see him? That's my little boy Colton just turned two a couple days ago. Uh, these were definitely something that you could wear in any sort of way. Recreational. Uh, it's just great. You can play sports with this thing. You could do anything like that. Uh, I personally bought them so that I can shoot guns and see what it looks like from that point of view. And, again, this is great. It can record in 1080p if you wanted to. It can also record at 60fps, 720p. And there's also a little button, a camera, that you can click. It's a 5 megapixel resolution still photo, and you can click that, too. So there are lots of great things about this. Another cool feature about this is these can handle freezing temperatures. So they're great for something like hunting or anything like that. They're also pretty impressive because they have a little LED feature on the right side. Right before you get to the lens while you're wearing them, there's a little blue light 
that illuminates when they're on. Now, if you're recording, it blinks slowly every once in a while, so it lets you know it's recording. It also has a vibration function built into the sides of it. So when you are recording, it'll, it'll vibrate letting you know it's recording. Uh, it'll vibrate when it'll let you know when it's not recording. And if the batteries are about to die, it'll warn you by vibrating too. So it's got crazy good functions. Great for all kinds of things. Doesn't make any noise. Doesn't have any visible lights or anything. So it makes it perfect for something like hunting, sports, anything along the lines of that. So I just wanted to put that in there and I'm going to show you a few situations on what I plan to use them for. So again, pretty decent quality. It's easy to work with. Beautiful looking video and quality. As you can see, it doesn't take away from the vision too much. Now is where I'm looking down the sights right there. As you can see, it's right alongside the gun. It's a pretty reliable thing right there. And last but not least, listen to the mic quality right here so you understand. My grandmother was sitting about five feet behind me. No one likes me. meme inbound so to wrap it up <laughs> something i don't do uh this is what they look like again just a reminder as you can see at the very top this button right here is the power button you hold it it turns it on it's also your recording button this one right here is the photo still the small one takes uh instant pictures for what it is and i was going to tell you guys a little bit about it these things are built in with the vibration that's why they're so so thick and right here, I, I know you can't see it, but that's where, I'll show you actually, that's where the LED light is located to let you know they're on or anything like that. So again, it's not distracting any animals if you're hunting, no one in front of you is blinded by a big red light or anything. It is quite convenient, quite useful, and again, these things are extremely affordable, one of the best purchases I've made in a long time. So I do want to remind you guys that no stuffed animals were hurt in the recording of this video. That came later.